My name is Vahid Chitsas, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for being here this morning. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Absolutely. So my name is Whitney Lee. I am tuning in from Destin, Florida. That is far northwest Florida. So everyone thinks we're right by Miami, but we're, we're up in the northwest area. So Awesome. Awesome. So let's dive into it. Marketing, branding. What are some of the what are some of the tips that you could give to business owners? Because I know marketing is a big fundamental challenge and issue for business owners. If you do your marketing right, you'll make it. If you don't, you might have challenges. So what are some of the tips that you think we should do, especially in 2020? Absolutely. So right now, I think everyone has been in a little bit of a freak out mode, rightfully so. Um, and I think one of the biggest mistakes that people make um, is that when they go through a challenging time, the first thing they cut out is marketing. And that's actually the opposite of what you should be doing, right? So when you are struggling for clientele, now being completely closed is a different scenario right now. Um, but if you are open for clientele, don't cut your marketing budget. That's when you need to push harder, right? Because um, you've got to pull in your people. So uh, I think that's one of the biggest tips. Um, I know, you know, a lot of people, um, Right now, if you're closed, I would say the best thing that you can do is start pushing on social media goodwill. You know, maybe not necessarily forcing and trying to always sell something via social media, but building that rapport and that goodwill with your clientele on social media. That is awesome. Here's my question for you. When you do marketing, when do you know your marketing is actually working? Is it just the only metric that's being used, the revenue you're making? So if a big company, Coca-Cola, is doing advertising, as long as their quarterly is increasing, does that mean it's working? Um, yeah, you know, of course, I think everyone, the bottom line is when you open a business, you're there to make money, right? Um, but I think depending on the campaign and, and what your goals are, maybe there isn't always a dollar sign associated with it. So growing your social media following, like, you may not always be able to track back and say, because we had a million followers on social media, our sales went up. You may not be able to like exactly, you know, translate that, you know, directly. Um, but I think that there is value in staying in front of people. So maybe some of your social media campaigns, your goals are um, exposure and um, growing your following rather than specifically growing your revenue. I mean, that's the best way to measure. If your revenue is going up, you are doing something right. Uh, but I do think that other, you know, milestones that you reach are very, very valuable too. I'm a brand new entrepreneur. I have no idea what my budget should be. How can I start my marketing on a budget? What, what, I, like when, when we say budget, are we talking about like 50 bucks? Are we talking about five? I mean, what, what is budget to you? How do I correlate? Like how much I should be spending? If my average uh, transaction with my consumer or people that I offer services is like a hundred, like my mom, she's got a hair salon. The average transaction is about a hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. So how much should I be putting aside for market? Is there a matrix for that? Or how do I determine that? Or how do I start on a budget? Yeah. Um, so I get that question a lot too. I, I would, I encourage people kind of an industry standard. Every business is different. I would say 8% of your gross revenue each month. And sometimes your gross revenue is going to change, but that can kind of help give you a little bit of a, a standard to try to decide how much money you should be spending on your marketing. So you said eight percent. Mm hmm. Eight percent of gross revenue, I think, is um, a healthy budget. Now, if you are obviously just starting out, some people want to go more than that because I'm a firm believer when you are brand new, that's your time to shine. Like you got to get out there and work harder. Um, and so, you know, I, I think that when you're just opening, if you want to go, a lot of people say, I want to spend less because I'm just opening, but you need to spend more when you're just opening because that's your time to make your reputation. Definitely. How do you, how important is it for companies right now during the crisis that we have? Um, how important is it for them not to be solely thinking about money? What? See, this is what I remember back in the days where I'm, I'm getting old. So back in the days when I was in high school, right, and middle school, I remember companies contributing to the communities that they were in. I don't see that as much, or if they do do it, 
they like to like put it in our face that oh we went and donated this much to this charity yeah but back then it wasn't like that i found i will find out about them sponsoring and doing these cool things and i was like oh that's cool yeah. that brand did that wow that's deep that's cool like they didn't have to like i wasn't a stupid low iq person for you to be able to put a commercial for this donation that you did for that's really retarded to me it's like why would you want to spend five million dollars on a commercial that you donated a million dollars to this charity like why don't you make that six million and shut up about like don't tell anybody people that need to know they will know right so how important is it to conduct yourself during these crises because people are going to remember the way you treated your consumer and employees during the tough times. Like, we got to be in it. So what are some of the recommendations you have for these big brands if they ever watch this video? I absolutely think it's 100% important to contribute to the community. Like you said, people remember that. And um, what's growing more, at millennials and Gen Z, they are all about these companies that feel good and do good. Um, so think about like Tom's, you know, when they do the, you buy a pair and they give a pair to a child in Africa, um, the millennials and the Gen Z people just latch onto that. So if you're targeting those age demographics, they care about things like that. And I agree with you about you. You don't want to be tooting your horn of look at us. We just donated a million dollars. Um, but maybe you're more positioning it as we're trying to support this organization and, and you're promoting their mission more than hey, look at us, we gave them a million dollars. But I think right now is a time when a lot of people are seeing the true colors of some of these companies. You know, some of these companies that received millions of dollars in these support loans and people are like, are you kidding me? Your, your employees, you know, like the, the Lakers, they gave back their entire um, loan because all the players were like, no, we, we can't accept that. There are people who are hurting far worse than we are. Things like that speak volumes to people and i think Definitely. now is the time that everybody's everybody's looking at each other to see who has a heart you know when is the best time for me to start my business and start marketing do i do it before i get my corporation set up do i do it after do i wait do i wait till i have everything prepared when is the time to say marketing shoot start doing it um i usually start um you know, like a, a campaign, let's say I'm going to be promoting um, something for Christmas, I always would start promoting three months in advance, sometimes even more depending on um, the level, like if you're opening a theme park, you want to be promoting far more than three months in advance. Um, but maybe for a new business, like uh, something that you're doing a build out for a restaurant or a salon, um, you kind of got to be careful uh, about when you start your messaging, you need to be clear on your timeline because it looks worse when you say we're getting ready to launch on December 1st and then it's April and everyone's like, where are you at? You know? Um, so be clear on your timeline. And, and again, I think every industry is different uh, based on what you're going to launch. Um, again, uh, something massive like a new hotel or a new um, theme park or shopping mall, that's going to take a lot more lead time rather than a small business. So, uh, but I, uh, for a small business, I would say six to three to six months and be clear on your timeline because you, be it looks, you know, from day one, you want people to trust your brand. So if you're making these big announcements and they're not coming to fruition, um, you're already kind of starting in the negative a little bit. I agree with that. How can people find you? Where do they come for more advice? Yeah. Um, so my Instagram handle is the Whitney Lee. Um, if you want to look me up, I started my own agency uh, when I was 26. It's called Socially, but it's L-E-E -E on the end. So Socially PR and Media Company. Uh, we're based out of Destin, Florida, uh, and we represent hotels, nonprofits, um, a good mixture of clients. We've done medical, um, so uh, it's we're experiencing kind of all different industries, and we just we love it. Awesome. Thank you so much for taking this time and being here. Looking forward and doing more videos because marketing is a big topic. I don't think one or two or even a hundred videos is going to cover all aspects. And I know entrepreneurs definitely need to put themselves out there more than any time ever. There's just too much noise in the marketplace. We just need to be able to cut through that and be able to get the right message, right company in front of the right consumer. So I appreciate you taking this time and being with us this morning. Thanks so much for having me. You guys have a great Talk day. Talk to you soon. You got it. Bye-bye.